what is up so today we have these two cars um the polo six it is the polo six it's not a polo eight the polo six and the polo five so if you wanna if you wanna argue about that i've already mentioned in the review of this car actually so we're comparing them starting from the looks this car still looks good man this uh the polo five it's still clean 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 and here we have the the r line and it's a rare one actually i feel like it looks better than the gti of the polo five looks way too clean and then there's this one there's this one this one is just too much it's just too much but i feel like from the front this this the, the, the polo 5 still holds a candle though especially like from the bumper you see it has these things these um extended bumper thingies sorry to say thingies again but like um it's clean it's aggressive as well the sides look at the wheels look at the wheels basically got like kind of like the same same take on them it's black wheels with like exposed aluminium um bits this is the side of the polo six it's nice all of them i feel like this one we're so used to this shape so it doesn't look new it's it's bland like we all know it this one is more angular it's more angular but in the sunroof basically the same thing basically the same design we have like when it comes to to sunroofs vw takes it better than any any manufacturer out there the back now the polo 6 pulls here like you can see man we're so used to i feel like this is because it's dated it's not like it looks bad it's because it's dated and then we have the leds are these leds now i don't think these are leds like so we have the led pack on the polo 6 it's too clean and here on this one we have the real exhaust tip as you can see there here on the polo 6 we have the fake two tips but they're all right they're all right i can't really complain much so this one has the blue motion badge at the back this one has the tsi badge at the back and yeah just comment let me know in the comment section which one you prefer actually i don't blame you like going for either but then i'd go for the polo 6 because it doesn't look dated i wouldn't say it looks better but then it's just a newer design it does have a refresh like there's a facelift of this car but then i feel like this one is a better looking one actually let's let, let's get inside actually let's start from the polo 5 and then i'll just show you the actually the the, the updates and the refreshments when we go into this one okay getting inside first thing that i'm spotting is the key see we don't have a push to start we start by a key and then the layout has changed you will see when we get to that one but then let's get to it right okay we have a screen here which supports android auto so it's still like a uh, good infotainment especially when you can use uh, android auto and apple carplay because that's what most people use anyways but then the let me see the ui is basically the same thing this one just has buttons instead of like you will see when we get on that car yeah it's basically the same thing actually it's still it's this is still a good car man and then here and the gauge cluster analog everything what i don't like is this silver thing it's too it's too flashy i believe i think it's too flashy could have been black but it's silver i guess that's intentional and another thing that i don't like is this thing i've never really understood how to use it the sunroof opener it could have been just like a simple button but this one is just like a bit more complicated uh another thing we have an armrest oh this one is falling apart actually let's not open it but then we have an armrest which has a storage inside and this is the dsg on these ones they still wrote dsg on the gear lever on the knob and that's it with the interior the door cards classic vw with this handle thing it looks good love box um we have the auto on and off switch which automatically stops the car and yeah that's basically it with the dashboard look and the interior feel the seat feel and the seat look it looks the seats look like this now let's get to the other one and let's compare on the advancements that they made getting into the polo 6 and i'll say again it is the polo 6 same ignition switched on let's switch it off okay cool okay steering wheel still the same thing same design and the infotainment it's it's the same as well but then here instead of buttons here it's um touch sensitive things touch sensitive buttons and then go to radio as you can see it's the same thing um app 
same UI, same everything. From that car coming into this car, you don't feel lost. What changes the dashboard layout? The air vents on that one, they were on top and then the screen was below that. And then from this car, uh, from that car to this one, they switched that one up and then the gear knob, we no longer have the DSG here. And we have a start, stop engine button instead of the the key here, putting on the key. And we have a center console for storage. This one is it's deeper, but then it's shorter. As you can see, it's not like as long as that one. And this is what I was talking about when you come to the sunroof. We could have just like had this on that one. It's just like you push it back and that. And then to close this, simple, simple things. But I mean, it's an update. And here we actually have the interior lighting. We have ambient lighting, but you can't change colors. It's the color of the car. And yeah, it's this one and digital it's not digital with the gauge cluster i'm used i'm so used to saying digital gauge cluster the gauge cluster it's analog it's okay it's cool and then let me show you how the seats look they look slightly better they're more angular just like this car is angular seats clean nice the interior feel changes from that one to this one mostly because of the seats they feel more they're hugging and more comfortable those are like a bit looser but that can come with age as well and we have the auto start stop here as well and here we have the drive mode and the park assist not park assist but then parking activating parking sensors and then the door card same layout we have this handle here nice and yeah let me show you um let, let's talk about the performance actually here so okay before i get into the performance of this car let's settle the polo 8 polo 6 debate because i see yeah most of you were confused so and if you're not subscribed please do it's it's totally free just touch the subscribe button and that's it no no money is gonna change hands so okay let's use the golf as an example the current gen of the golf is the golf 8 golf mark 8 that number signifies the number of generation the golf has so its current generation is 8 that's the golf 8 so okay Let's get back to the Polo. Despite being only introduced in 1975, which is only a year later than the Golf, it only has five generations. Here in South Africa, we only started the, getting the Polo with the Polo player, which is the third gen Polo. And here are the Polo generation. The Polo 1, Polo Mark 2, Polo Mark 3, Polo Mark 4, Polo Mark 5, and the current gen that we have is the Polo Mark 6, which has been facelifted to this but then it's not a new generation it's still the polo 6 as well so but i think what's confusing guys is because the polo 5 in which the generation 5 is called the 6r or the 6c but then that's the model name that's not the generation right so if okay let's go back actually let's go to the polo 4 it's called the 6q or the 9n as well so does it mean it's the polo 9 or polo 6 and then if we go back further let's go to the polo 2 this is called the 86C. Is it the Polo 86? Or what is it? So the generation and the model name is two different things. It's like BMW. They own G20 right now as the model name, but then they own the seventh gen of the three series. So that's how it works. Right now, if we're using the conventional generation naming, we're on the Polo 6. So that's how it works. Just like if we're gonna use it on the VW Golf as the Golf 8, on the Polo, we're on the Polo 6. So I hope that ends the polo 8 debate because i don't know where you guys are getting it in the first place it doesn't make sense but okay cool now to the performance of this car this car basically identical underneath the bonnet they both have the one liter turbocharged three cylinder which debuted with this car actually the polo 5 uh, but they only differ a bit when it comes to power output where the polo 5 only outputs 85 81 kilowatts actually 81 kilowatts and the polo 6 outputs 85 kilowatts and they have the same torque and and which is 200 newton meters not a lot and yeah that's it with the performance there's not really a lot here that i haven't like already reviewed in which you can check out the review in the polo 6 review which is the best video on our channel thus far so as you can see you probably have never seen the polo 5 r line yes it's that rare it's the first ever polo to have an r line and this actually debuted with a price of 290,000 when it launched. Yes, you could. You could get an airline with only 290,000 back in 2017. But yeah, now things have changed. 
And if you want to check the Polo 6 Cost of Ownership, check out its review on the pop-up banner. And yeah, that's basically it from this review. I'll catch you on the next one. Danko.